Hi, I'm Nicola Smith from foreverfit.tv. In this video, I'm going to share how you can improve your gut health naturally. Now, first, it's important to understand what is our gut health. Now, 80% of our immunity is involved in our digestive system. Now, we are what we eat, but more importantly, you are what you're able to digest and absorb. The role of our digestive system is to work out what it digests and what it eliminates to your body. And this is part and parcel with the work of your bacteria and the work of the rest of your digestive system as well. Now we want to make sure that we're getting the nutrients that we need from our food. And so it's the nutrients that send messages to your cells that give your body energy. Now when our digestive system isn't working right, it can create all sorts of different symptoms. Now symptoms don't just have to be related to the digestive health, like um, stomach cramps and things like that. It can be things like fatigue, brain fog, skin problems or aches and pains to the joints. I know personally when I get gluten introduced to me, I instantly feel completely washed out, I feel exhausted and my joints start to ache. And so the symptoms are very different to other people and it can even lead down to things with weight gain and hormonal imbalances because your digestive system is 80% of your immune system and everything is connected. Our body is a system of systems. So there's lots of different signs and symptoms that your body may be giving you when your gut health isn't working quite right. Now in order to get the energy from our food, we need to make sure that the good bacteria in our body is working. Now inside our body, we have more bacteria than we have human cells. And not only do we have good bacteria, we also have bad bacteria. Now if we eat a diet that's full of sugars, processed foods, we have painkillers and medication, it's going to be everything that the bad bacteria needs to be able to grow and to dominate. Now we want to make sure that we do the opposite because when we have a body that's full of bad bacteria, it can help to increase things like candida and fungus, it can make us feel tired, fatigued, skin problems, it can give us problems with getting the energy from our food. Now in order to get the good bacteria really strong and vibrant, we need to create the environment and the foundation for them to be able to populate and to dominate. Now this comes through all the beautiful real whole foods and avoiding packaged and processed foods. Then it's through the introduction of good bacteria and this can be in the form of probiotics and it can be in the form of fermented foods. Now imagine your digestive system is this big long tube. And this tube's role is to work out what enters your body and what it eliminates. Now a prime example of how this works is if you were to eat something that wasn't right for your body and it gave you food poisoning, this tube would straight away evacuate everything from both ends of your body. And when it's working perfectly and on a day-to-day -day basis, it's sending messages and it's deciding where it delivers its calcium, where it delivers its iron to the rest of your body and it's communicating and it's deciding what it allows to enter the cells of your, di the wall of your digestive system into your body and into your bloodstream, through to your liver, through to the nail on your little pinky finger and where it sends the nutrients from those foods. So this, this tube needs to be working optimally and in order for that to happen, we need to make sure that the good bacteria is doing a really good job because not only do they bring the beneficial probiotics to your body, the bacteria is also involved in making sure that this wall has really good integrity and it's doing everything that it needs from producing the enzymes that help break down the food and allowing the wall of the digestive system to work properly as well. Now to get this beneficial bacteria into our body, we can start with probiotics. Now there's lots of probiotics out there and they're getting more and more popular. And you wanna make sure that it's probiotics that have prebiotics with it because it's the prebiotics that is the fiber that creates the environment for the probiotics to be able to populate and to grow. If you just take um, probiotics by themselves, it can be destroyed just by the enzymes in your throat and not make it all the way down to your digestive system. So they need that prebiotic fibre to be able to grow and to make it all the way down to your digestive system and to have that environment to grow. Think of it like the soil in your garden. You need to have really good soil for really good vegetables to grow. If you have poor soil, you're going to grow the bad vegetables or no vegetables at all. So we want to make sure that we've got that environment that helps to create good growth of good bacteria. 
Now these are the probiotics that I love and that I started from and I had very bad digestive system, very bad skin, very bad fatigue and exhaustion. And so I started with my probiotics, but then eventually I started to work out that real live fermented foods weren't that scary and it was a much better way for me able to get the live food into my body as well and it ended up being more sustainable in the long term. So I love the way the probiotics work, but then I love the way that the fermented foods work and there's a place for both of them. And the way that I work now is I have these when I travel and if I go overseas and I know that I can't get hold of the live foods or if I know that I've been really um, really depleted and I really need to introduce that bacteria into my body again, that's when the probiotics come in for me and they're right at the very start as well. But then when it comes to the fermented foods, the key is to think about how you can bring two fermented foods into your diet easily and sustainably. Now my favourites are kombucha and I've done a video on how you can make kombucha. It's very simple but you can also buy it now as it's getting really popular. So do make sure you check out that video. And then I've got yoghurt here and now depending on whether or not you're tolerant to dairy or you might want to go with coconut yoghurt. And again you want to make sure that it's real yogurt and not flavoured with loads of different flavours. And this is real yogurt but it is flavoured just with turmeric and so you want to get the simple flavours in there and this is a great way to get your bacteria into your body as well. And then you've got all of your fermented vegetables so your kimchi and your sauerkraut. And so you want to try and get two fermented foods into your diet for the rest of your life. Now think of it like you get your car serviced or like when you get you the, like the oil changed in your car, you're constantly putting petrol in your car to keep it functioning. Too often we neglect our digestive system. Now it can take up to two years to replenish that bacteria when you've taken antibiotics. And so whenever we take painkillers or medication or even when we get stressed in the environment around us, all of these things can suppress that, bad, that good bacteria. And so we want to be constantly making sure that we're keeping our digestive system in top notch just as much as we keep our car in good condition as well. So on a daily day to day basis, if you want to make sure that you've got energy and vitality and you're getting the nutrients from your food, because remember, you are what you eat, but more important, you are what you digest and absorb. So we want to make sure that we're digesting and absorbing that food with the good bacteria. So try and get two fermented foods into your diet daily. Find ones that you can do easily and try and get into making them yourself as well. I hope you found this video useful. Do let me know, comment below and I'd love to hear from you.